my life, but at times I surprise myself. Lost in this world, trying to find myself. Will I blow up? Only time will tell. Drop knowledge on OGs, they do the same for me, but they always tell me I'm wise as I don't got no ghostwriter writing my lyrics. I was good YouTube. I literally just woke up, so if my voice is different, that's why. But yeah, so first off, I gotta give credit to the person who I got this gameplay from. I got it from Shakedown 2012. So make sure to go check him out. I have his link in the description and everything. Gotta give credit to where I got it from. And alright, so now I'm gonna go into the badges. So in NBA Live 18, badges are called traits, and there's a ton of them. However, you can only equip four at once. You can have many different badges, but you can only equip four. I don't, if, I don't know if you guys ever played 2K13, but in 2K13, you could buy a bunch of badges, but you could only equip, like, a couple. That's what it is here. So now I'm going to go into each badge individually. Alright, so first off, we have early and late release. These two badges are really helpful if you're not really that good of a shooter in terms of you're not really good at um, timing it. So, for example, if you always are shooting it early or you're always shooting it late, put on the respective badge and then you'll have a larger boost of actually making it than you would if you didn't have the badge and also this helps because this makes it so you don't have to always get perfect timing in order for you to have a consistent jump shot i wonder if 2k will ever implement something like this because i know a lot of people always shoot early or always shoot late all right next we have late to the party this is the nba live equivalent to deadeye that's in 2k17 and the previous 2ks so pretty much all it means is that if a defender is in your face and you shoot it you have a higher chance of making it and so for example if the defender is closing you out and you shoot it you have a higher chance with this badge on for it to go in all right this next badge is pick and pop this one's kind of self-explanatory pretty much just means if you set a screen you get the ball passed to you and you shoot it you have a higher percentage of it going in Alright, next we have sure handles. A lot of people are probably going to think this is ankle breaker, but no. This trait makes it so that you just can't get ripped. And also makes it so you don't lose fatigue while you dribble. A less amount of fatigue. So pretty much, you know those players in the NBA, especially those point guards, they don't really be breaking ankles, but they have an insane ball handling ability. This is pretty much like the trait that they would have. Next, we have way back. This is literally limitless range. It's just a different name. So pretty much all it means is you have a higher chance of making it if you take it from like way back. So like way beyond the three point line. You have a higher chance of making it if you have this badge on. Trait. Next we have Relentless Defender. This boosts your stamina when you're guarding your man off ball. So pretty much it just means that you are hustling at every single point on defense even when your man doesn't have the ball. And this helps you do that. Next we have Rhythm Shooter. This is kind of like microwave. Every catch and shoot you take and make gives you a higher chance of getting hot. Alright, next we have Spicy Dish. This is pretty much flashy pasher mixed with microwave. So, a fancy pass resulting in a bucket will give you an immediate hot streak, meaning will make you on fire. And lastly, we have Quick Recovery. This trait makes it so that you cannot be broken, like broken to the point of falling, if you are late to close out the ball carrier. So, for example, if you are running to your man and he hits a crossover, you will not be able to fall, pretty much giving you a quick recovery. So yeah, so that's all the badges that at least we've been shown, or at least I've been able to find. If there's any more NBA Live 18 news, I'll make sure to let you guys know about it. I have another video coming later today. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. I'm out. Peace!